This game had a lot of elements to it, but because the Cardinals won, let's give them their flowers and let's talk about the top five graded players on the team. Dajun Taylor Demerson, their rookie safety, didn't quite play 25 snaps. He played 21, but I put him on the list anyways, damn it, because he got a 91.8 overall grade this past week. Wide receiver Michael Wilson with a 79.6. Running back James Conner with a 76.8. Edge rusher Zayvon Collins with a 74.5. Tight end Trey McBride with a 71.7. And then quarterback Kyler Murray with a 73.5. On the other side of things, Brandon Ayuk had himself a day. Got a 90.0 overall grade. Edge rusher Nick Bosa with an 87.9. Offensive tackle, Trent Williams with an 83.8. What else is new? Good grade for him. Uh, offensive guard, Aaron Banks, which I'm sure a lot of people love to see, 81.5. And then Leonard Floyd with a 79.1. Quarterback, Brock Purdy with a 73.7. Uh, which stat that told the story here? What do you got? I'll go with the Cardinals offense, and it's very – it seems pretty simple all of a sudden through five games. They had a 70.9 team pass pro grade in this game, and they only gave up one sack. And Kyler Murray was pressured on nine of his 32 dropbacks. Not a bad number. A little over 20, no. little over 25%, That's right? Good. 27, 28, somewhere in there. Three games where the Cardinals have had a 70 pass pro grade, 31 points a game. Two games with less than that, 13 and a half points a game. They protect Kyler Murray, and they allow him to do things both in structure and out of structure. Their offense is really, really good. The run game is really good. Marvin Harrison, we know what he can do. Michael Wilson, Greg Dorch, Trey McBride, all Elijah Higgins scored a touchdown in this game. They got a boatload of weapons. They got a quarterback who's five foot eight or whatever he is. If they when they protect him, they're a really, really good offense, like a top ten offense. And and, and especially in the second half of this game, it showed. And there's, it's a two dimensional offense as well. But to me, it's getting to be pretty clear. This offensive line is not the best offensive line in the league. It's not a bad one either. It's, a, it's kind of especially with Paris Johnson at left tackle. It's a young offensive line that's putting the pieces together. They're getting better as a unit. They started that the second half of last year. The days when they're on, this is a dangerous offense that can beat anybody. They just have to be on up front in both the run and pass game so they can execute. Sometimes the game is very simple. Yep. Win in the trenches, right? I think that that's kind of what a – um, a takeaway could be for this game, especially for the Cardinals and how well they were able to play, especially down the stretch. My staff that told the story, I'm going to rope it into my most impressive because they kind of play off of each other. Niners run defense is the staff that told the story to me. This season, the 49ers have a 58.3 run defense grade as a team that's just 23rd in the NFL. Against the, the Cardinals, they had a 52.2, so even worse than their, than their uh, average grade so far this season and specifically in the second half a 51.9 run defense grade in the second half we go to James Conner who is my most impressive 86 total yards for James Conner on 19 carries 75 of those yards came after contact which you love to see but 52 of those yards and 43 after contact came in the fourth quarter we were watching that game together and I'm freaking out watching the game because you know on first and 10 or like a second and long or whatever they're still handing the ball off to James Conner I'm like what are you doing like you got to come back on the scoreboard at that point they needed to score points to get ahead in the football game and I'm like you are way too conservative right now but James Conner certainly the yards after contact helped I mean he is a beast but the 49ers could not defend the run in the fourth quarter and it's going to be an Achilles heel of this team for where they want to go. This is a team that has Super Bowl aspirations. They're still one of the most talented teams in the NFL. And it's just too easy for teams to run the ball against them right now. And it's becoming a consistent problem. So that is, to me, a stat that told the story because if the 49ers are better on run defense, even with what happened to Jake Moody, even with them not being able to go for a field goal and that ended up being the reason why you lose by one point, whatever. If they can defend the run better, this doesn't happen. They don't lose the game. That's it. They just have to defend the run better, and they have not at this point in this season. So I wanted to shout out James Conner at the same time, but that was my th- stat that told the story and my most impressive. Who do you have as your most impressive? Um, I- I'll I'll say this. One, one other thing with the Niners there, too. Two things that concern me. One, mm-hmm. I believe now it's they've lost, is it seven of their last nine one-score games? Wow, I, I think, didn't know that. And the two wins were in the playoffs. Yeah, I, th- I think they've lost seven straight regular season one-score games. And that run defense— Kyle that, Shanahan will never escape the allegations. That run defense was a problem for some reason. Well, because he's really good. When Talanoa Hufanga got hurt last year, ever since then— Oh, yes. yes. Ever since then, their run defense has been a major issue. It's a major— And he went and he started this game and went out. Yeah. Uh, ever since that injury happened, I think it was week— nine or ten i think week 10 and last they drafted year. malik mustafa and jair brown to be that was so young guys so and, and they are obviously that and and hufanga has it's, played this this really is a problem well and you don't have there, javon but. hargrave now 
Yes, not not that he was a great run defender, but, but it's a still a presence, yeah, right? It, yeah. It's a problem. Look, most impressive. Cardinals won this game. Best player on the field was Brandon Ayuk. With, Played very without well. question. Eight catches, 147 yards, four missed tackles. He's tearing him up. 88.2 receiving grade. He was tearing him up. Now, he, it took him a couple of weeks, I think, to get in a rhythm here. Uh, he's he's one of the best receivers in football. He played like it. Yeah, he was the best player on the field, no matter which way you slice this game. Um, it just just a monster. That's a number one receiver. He deserves every dollar he got with that contract.